A market calendar for August 31st. That's the day students in Leon County will return to school. ABC 27's Jada Williams shares some of the plans left to work on in that time. There's a lot on the school board's plate, from equipping the students with technology to making sure COVID-19 doesn't spread in the classrooms, and even what recess will look like. We should be able to come back to the classroom, but they have to know what's going to happen. Is it safe? They have to have a plan. Leon County Schools now has a month to figure out that plan. Students return to the classroom August 31st a date that likely won't change again. My understanding of, of the legal interpretation of the Commissioner of Education's emergency order is that if we start brick and mortar by the end of August, then we will be eligible for our typical FTE, our typical funding, um, even in a blended model. While Leon County School Board Chair Dee Dee Rasmussen believes this is the final start date, she still warns parents to be prepared. The only thing I know about this pandemic is change is constant. If we have a hurricane, which, you know, anything can happen, right? If we have a hurricane or if we have an uptick in the hospitalization rate from COVID. In an effort to keep the students out of the hospital, the school is working with medical professionals to receive more informed guidance on the next steps. One key focus, giving them time to take a break from wearing the mask in school. Our students and our teachers uh, deserve to have um, that readily available medical expertise on a consistent basis. Dr. David Robinson at Tallahassee Memorial Health Care says masks are necessary, but those breaks are acceptable if done right. I don't know about you, but it's awfully hard for me to wear a mask all day when I'm at work, and so I, I think that's probably just being realistic. I just hope they can find a way to do it so that kids can maintain the social distance when they take the break. Another reason the start of the school year was pushed back is because schools and businesses across the country are trying to go digital. That's led to a delay in getting the Chromebooks in the hands of students in Leon County, but they expect to have them by August 31st. Reporting from Rob Middle School, Jada Williams, ABC 27.